everybody. Welcome to Cake Test of Cakes. It's Jen and I'm going to show you today how to make a Dur Burger cake from Fortnite. Now I mentioned in one of my last videos, the tomato head video, that I was going to do a second cake from Fortnite. And this is it. You know, Dur Burger and the tomato head guy, they kind of go together. So I figured it'd be fun to make one for each of them. Just because why the heck not, right? So just like in the tomato head video, I'm using a cake dummy just to show you. And I am going to style the cake after the uniform that the skin wears. So I'm going to do half of it in a kind of a creamy brownish, peachish sort of color fondant. And the other half is in a royal purple color fondant. And I had made one straight cut on either on both colors so that in the middle the seams would line up nice and straight. And if it's not perfect, it's okay, just because we're gonna uh, cover it with this red right here. Uh, again, the uniform has like a red line up the front where the snaps are. So that's what I'm doing here. I just cut out some red, nice and long and thin, laid it nice and straight over the seam. And then I'm gonna finish decorating the uniform. On the beige side, I'm gonna add some sesame seeds. It's just some very, very light colored beige gum paste. And the other side is going to, or the red, excuse me, is going to have some silver buttons or snaps. I don't know what they are. So I just used gray gum paste and cut out circles and stuck it on. Okay, now we're getting into the Dur Burger itself. I rolled out some gold and yellow, pretty darn thick. And using the circle cutter there, I just found the size I liked and I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to keep using that same size. So that piece, I rounded off the bottom of it, you see, and that's going to become the bottom of the bun. I re-rolled the gold so it was even fatter than before, cut out the same size, but now I'm rubbing the edges to round it off and kind of hump it over to make the top of the bun, because the top of the bun is thicker, and it's, you know, curved over pretty strongly, so that's what I was doing. The brown is a brown thick patty. It's probably the same thickness as the bottom bun. Same size circle, just rubbed it around, made it nice and smooth. Cheese is super easy. Just take some yellow, make a square. You've got cheese, boom, done, nice and easy. When you lay it on, make sure the two corners do come over the front and almost touch the bun. So that will be perfect. The red is gonna be our tomato. It's gonna be the same size circle again. And it's pretty thin. It's maybe not even half the size, you know, maybe a quarter of the size of the patty or the bun on the bottom. I'm using a smaller circle to make an imprint on it so it looks like it has skin. And I used a straw to make just a bunch of seeds. I just stamped around to make a seed pattern in it just to give it a little more detail. This is straight up peach color I'm using for the tongue. I just rolled it out so it was rounded off on one end, found the length I liked, trimmed it so it would fit. And yeah, so there you go. There you go, got the tongue. And the tongue is going to sit between the two folds of cheese. You see how it's positioned there? And also, I wanted the tongue or the mouth, the top of the bun, to sit a little higher than it does so the mouth looks more open. It was very closed looking, uh, so you could have just noticed. So I tried this. I took some of the extra peach color and made like a little Tootsie Roll kind of thing uh, just to prop it up so it would hold it open a little better. And I think it worked a lot better that way. You're going to see in a second, I even added a second smaller piece to put under the tongue. So I've got it kind of teared up when it's all put together. This is just some red food coloring and a little bit of water. I'm painting around the outside of the edge of the tomato um, in order to make it look like the skin is shiny. And I also did it on the inside a little bit too, just where it's going to show where the bun is open. For the burger, I took some brown, a little bit of water, and I'm just kind of stippling it on. I'm not actually painting it. I'm just kind of like dabbing it on just so it's blotchy looking. And the tongue itself is super shiny. So I took some of the peach color, added a lot of water to it because I didn't want it too dark. I just wanted it more shiny and painted the entire tongue. The bottom of the bun you see here that I'm doing is just brown and water because it kind of looks toasty and dark on the inside when his mouth is a little bit open there. So that's what I was doing there. Okay, we're adding the eyes now. I'm using that ball tool to make two sockets where the eye is gonna sit inside the bun. Just hollow it out, not too deep. I ended up painting a little bit of the brown inside, but it got covered up with the eyes and you didn't see it later. But that's just how I did it, so that's how it is. 
Now the eyes themselves are just two big balls of white that kind of bulge out of his head like a frog or something. And I took two black circles. They're flat. I just rolled out some black real thin and cut out a couple circles. And I'm just laying them over. They kind of go out to the sides, kind of like chameleon eyes or goat eyes or something like that. And I'm using my little round tool there just to kind of smooth the edges into the eyes. Now I'm going to add a few sesame seeds to the top of the Der Burgers bun there. I am using that same color beige, that very, very, very light creamy beige color that we used on the cake itself. And just pressed them in as you saw. They don't, they're just ovals. They were nothing special. This is his olive that he has in his top bun. I use a lollipop stick and some green that I just kind of smushed on there. I made a little hollow and then filled the one hollow with red and shove it on into the bun at an angle. It's supposed to go at an angle and by the right eye. Set it on top with the little props I got with the tongue and there you go. Stick them on top of your cake and you've got yourself a Der Burger cake from Fortnite. So hopefully you found this enjoyable. You will like and subscribe. And as always, thank you very much for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.